their map pick, but they have the chance to make up for it here. Oh, okay then. That's a great start. I was looking at the HG and suddenly the headshots came through and it's FaZe's turn to get absolutely smashed. Crimson all over the walls as Twist finds himself in a one versus four. We've seen so many plays from him with a CZ. But can he do something spectacular, miraculous maybe, with these jewelies? should he choose to pursue this round? Slowly heading towards the ramp, looking at the carnage. That came before him. No lurkers here. Four frags to find and a defuse if he wants to pursue that. He has Kevlar. He has been made the raid boss. Just a side quest in this round now. Kiel's curious. I think it's time to run away. Oh, Twist has got a, a different plan in mind. Gonna make use of this all oh, longest reload of your life. He's managed to find cover though. But Snacks will put him down. Again, that Kevlar has a lot of value, but he gained a lot of value from those kills as well. Either way, Game of Legion take the pistol. And I do wonder, with their first game, it came so early in the life of CS2. Many learnings to be done. Yeah. Will it look the same? How similar will it look? I mean, as the desk pointed out, they wouldn't have even known Game of Legion's positions because Game of Legion didn't used to play Nuke. Now, those kills at the end were very relevant from Twist. They've just allowed him to buy an M4 and drop it to Rain. So those exit frags could be important as Rain can now try and contest this yard control. One of the best. Ooh, and look at the aggression. Where did Twist come from? He'll get one. And there's damage onto other players as well. Brokey down here ahead of time, but Kios with a key kill gives them access to lower. Oh, that smoke's not ideal, though. How long does he hold it, though? They've got another one if they do want to cross. They could also go the other way, and Rain starts to wonder. That timing works well for Acorp. But he doesn't see Rain either. So does he think there's a play to be made in Garage? Questions raised for both teams. Game of Legion slip away just before Rops emerges from heaven to have a look. So much time for them as well. Four on three. Yeah, it looks like the wrong read for FaZe right now as well. They have no one down on lower. Don't want to wait too long though. If they've got to rely on a smoke plant, then things could still get uncomfortable for them. Taking control of control. Garlic glass is not smashed. 24 seconds, still no one downstairs. Might have to be a save here for FaZe. We've got an M4, couple of pistols. Try and do damage or even compete into the next. So Gamer Legion off to a good start. How important could that be after FaZe just got smashed on Inferno? Got to keep the mental strong here after losing your own map pick in that fashion. It's a full, full investment as well. No money left in the hole for a sniper. And again, in this shorter format, there's something to focus on. There's no right or wrong. Something to be observed, though. Yeah, Ooh. I was going to say, I don't know if they're safe there. Those bomb blasts are brutal. I mean, that could be very relevant, right? You, you lose two guns there. FaZe now have an ability to have some weapons in this round. Try and do a bit more damage. Keep Gamer Legion limited on cash into the future. A Galil even in the hands of Carrigan into this one. So can FaZe contest in this round? Nade to the door, nades onto Rain. Down to 56 health early. Not ideal when he has one of the rifles. It's a classic Virtus Pro play from back in the day. I'm sure Taz will remember. Days of Pasha. I made a clip like eight years ago, maybe longer, of them doing that play. Apex swinging and just getting absolutely obliterated by those grenades. But here comes the push towards ramp. 
Rob's falling back, conceding position. But again, they've got to find some frags here, Game Allegiant. Two man set up for phase. Make, Make it three. three. Yeah. Got to be real careful about this one. Rob's creeping around the corner, but Kios is delivering. Not much left for Brokey to do. Promising start then for Game Allegiant. Get that bomb planted though, because FaZe are still creeping. Oh, was there a shot there by Rain? Oh, he's got 18 shots in the magazine, so perhaps there was. Very patient stuff from Game Allegiant. Methodical. Again, both teams with learnings from the prior nuke. From playing CS2. Let's not forget that late defuse we saw from FaZe on the A bomb site with Gamer Legion falling away to try and save. Yeah, I think FaZe won both pistols as well. So it, it really felt like a map that actually Gamer Legion maybe could have won in regulation with how some of the rounds were stolen and how it all played out. Twist doesn't have much to save, so he will hang around. Game of Legion had a couple of players die to the bomb last round. They don't want to have that happen again. This time they're all on high health, so they will be okay. Now in the previous matchup, in the opening game between these two in the group stage, Game of Legion in almost every round were deploying two smokes towards Yard, those closer Yard smokes that allow the cross towards Secret. You can now do it with just two smokes if you go for the closer ones. And that was something that FaZe were trying to disrupt. So let's see if that is just a staple of Gamer Legion's T side. And if it is, FaZe should be ready for it. Ooh, fast ramp. Could be on the cards. Wow, that was a lot of grenades. They were very <laughs> like expected. They were wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Close distance airstrike from Gamer Legion. Warning sounds then for FaZe. Both teams having lost a player now. There's Brokey with that AWP up close as well, looking for something. Acorn might have a good angle for this, though. Ooh, timing, you wonder. Oh, he's missed a shot there. And Acorn with the full spray. Carrigan's lost as well. And so is the round four phase. Not getting started on this CT side of Nuke just yet. So more urgent with these shorter halves. Rops with no kills to his name. Only Twist has more than one kill for FaZe right now. And we're heading towards round five. What is happening? They can't afford to crumble like this. Gamer Legion off to a great start. Snacks with a smile on his face already. Warms your heart to see Snacks happy. It really does. Rops forced into the save. Oh no, he doesn't even save. He's too close to the bomb. Oh boy, painful lessons being learned in CS2. Oh, smoke grenade to the back of the head. That's rude. I mean, when Rops is dying like that to a bomb radius, like he's the biggest nerd out there. Yeah. And even he's not 100% sure. Goes to show. If he doesn't know what's going on, then no one knows what's going on. Absolutely. Okay, Rain has enough money to drop the AWP over to Brokey who tried to get activated in that previous round, missed the opportunity. This looks crazy, but FaZe legitimately have the extra gear to make a play like this work and win a round. I mean, it could be unexpected as well, right? The Gamer Legion even expect the AWP. Is the AWP even needed? Rain's already got one with the dig. <laughs> looks so funky. A broken leg going up the ladder there. It's very uncomfortable angles. This clock is giving Brokey time to find someone to sweep up with this AWP. Rain's in such a good position. Kios clearly has no idea. Three players versus four means problems. FaZe don't want peace. Suddenly, Snacks is alone. What does he go for here? He's got 7k in the bank. 
Now he's got a bit more as his team lose the round, punctured by Brokey. As we said before, FaZe are one of those teams who have a legitimate argument for a round like that, and here's a demonstration of why. Yeah, a brief release, a brief relief there from Twists. FaZe have talked in the past about how they want to try and keep the mood up when they are struggling. There's the reaction from them, trying to get back into this map. Mac 10 out in this round for Isaac. Is there something fast on the cards here? Looks like there is. Bouncing into the bomb site. He's created space for his team to sweep up. And Carrigan's lost. Only one for him on this occasion. Brokey trying to find that rotation outside. But that's put the orb out of commission as this bomb site has well and truly been lost. They have a lot of util to go for a retake here. A lot of util. Game Illusion have some as well, though. Smoke in this position still. They're just going to have to force through this if they want to go for it. They could lose everything, though. It could set them back even further if they go for a high-risk play. Acor flank on the way. Molly for Kios. They might not even save. Oh, Brokey. Support grenade going through. There's the orb gone. That is a big L. Robs doesn't make it to the site. The position so awkward now for FaZe. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Kios misses his opportunity. But it is a round for Gamer Legion. This That's time they get away from the bomb. Vault with one HP. A late frag for Snacks, but it's so... F I was going to say, it's so fortunate that Kiel's for phase that Kiel's didn't get those kills there. Saving with three keeps them in contention for the next round. As fun as it was for the one round that phase won, it wasn't in a fashion which they can expect to replicate. They have to find success in those full buy rounds. And there they are lost again. It's a sacrificial Whoa. lamb in with the MAC-10. And now maybe Kios will be that with the P90. Are they going to do the same play again? Oh, no, it's into ramp this time. Five-man rush. Robs with the scope. Has, he just lost his opportunity already. That HE will do some very nice damage indeed. How long can he live for? How long can he survive? The P90 will purify the B-bomb site. Minute 30 on the clock. Desperate times for FaZe. Will there be desperate measures as well? Oh my. Surely not, Acor. Surely not. Brokey's got his pistol out. The bomb yet to be planted. Now they go for it. Smokes up. Allow that to happen. And Acor's still sat in this smoke. Is Brokey ready? Is Acor ready? He's not thinking about that right-hand side. Kios with the P90. It's covered in flames as well. Like he's playing Micro Machines or something. He's got to clutch it now with that P90. Oh, coward. Switches out to the M4. Brokey on the site with an AWP. You may have seen Twist now. Can he find an angle to stop this defuse, though? Gets domed by Twist immediately. Somehow, FaZe found a way to recover that round. It's looking so scary for them. Gamer Legion just committing to these fast plays. Pack mentality, high pace. That time, Rops does an okay job at being able to allow his teammates to rotate. And then Gamer Legion have to delay the bomb plant slightly. FaZe keep those positions contained. But you see the stress that's in all these rounds. Oh, Gamer Legion happy to stick with the same play style, even though it didn't work in that one. Looks like they're going to go back to these yard smokes, something more standard. And this time it's Rops and Rain in this position, but... They're not denying the cross here. Responding could be a bit awkward down to B then. If Rops and Raider both at yard. I don't think we've seen too much exploration into these new smokes on the A bomb site just yet. We saw one or two in prior days. Perhaps there is something to come later. For now, Vault will be lurking. Could have been worse. Lux. Gamer Legion have a lot of position here. Yeah, Lurk Smoke is still a possibility out through Squeaky, and that could allow a quick vent drop, as long as they could clear Carrigan out of top hut. Quick flash in. Carrigan wow. could have collected two, but he'll have zero. Ooh. Rain will do the job, though. But where is the bomb? I think it dropped down the vent. Yeah, Snacks may go to collect it. They've got someone to... Oh, maybe not. Catch, oh, you yeah, did. yeah. You can see it flashing there. 35 seconds on the clock. Rob starting to get his lurk on, though. Can he find position between him and Brokey? Gamer Legion could be in trouble. 
The door is open. There are no smokes for Gamer Legion. And is there anybody here to challenge Brokey? Rock's running distraction. And Brokey plays off of that. And suddenly, Acor finds himself out of position. If Snacks made it across there, this would have been a very interesting round because Acor was still up on A. The A site was clear. It could have been a two on three post plant. So a must hit shot from Brokey there. And he steps up for his team. Had a bit of a slow start, but he is involved in the action now. That was a fascinating round to watch. You two smokes picked up by Gamer Legion. That will allow those two connected smokes on yard to try and cross. Oh, they swing before it though, Rain. Well, eat up those fights all day long. Those pistolers need to stay alive to make space later. Oh, Rain just knows his angle so well through these smokes. He's so good. Fishing and finding. Acor's barely got started with this AK-47. He really hasn't. Still a few more players in tow though. Speeding things up now as they race towards the B-bomb site. A plant would be luxurious for them, but Brokey may have something to say about that. He's got to be careful. Could lose an AWP here if he makes a mistake. And he might just do. Never mind. Everybody stands at the end of the round. FaZe will comfortably collect the next, their next round. Looking to tie the score. Wouldn't be surprised if we're all tied at half time the way things are going. Unable to deny the plant, so at least some extra money for Gamer Legion. Which should be relevant coming into this gun round. Yeah, Rain was obviously a bit of a yard specialist nice. in the previous game. So, knowing his angles, he's able to adapt to the new style of play over at yard. Has Looks like he's very much key. enjoying things. Absolutely. Same two smokes being deployed again on Yard for Gamer Legion. Normally it's um, smokes being dropped for teammates. Now it's HEs. Rain is not Yard this time. He's at ramp pushing with Rops. Carrigan is just wiping those smokes, seeing if he can spot the cross. Still nothing yet. I think that second HE was a bait for that third one to find something. A little too early though, as Gamer Legion make their way towards Secret. More players to come. Was Carrigan spotted in that smoke? I don't think he was. Double rotate down B and Carrigan in this position. This is great for face. Brokey won't be expected. Big Frag spots the bomb as well. Makes it onto the site. This is a very bad position for Gamer Legion, especially considering Carrigan. Ooh. Out comes Snacks though, but he's so low. Now he's gone. Isaac, with only one kill to his name in this half, has got a lot to do here. Not going to happen, though. Five to five. FaZe are back. Very well read by FaZe. And that might be a round that comes back to the initial matchup between these two teams. Those were the sorts of plays that Gamer Legion were running towards Yard, and FaZe looked very well equipped to deal with it. They doubled up on ramp early, got a lot of space. This was the position Rops got himself into. I think that's what allowed them to be a little more confident on this rotation down to B. Can't split these two teams right now, but it's pistols for Gamer Legion in this one. Has to be a half by. Rain this time fighting ahead of the smokes. That nade will help as well. Very nice indeed. Rain looks like he is loving life outside on Nuke, generally speaking. Fun opportunities to be had. Carrigan hunting with an M4A4 twist fishing as well. No more nades for FaZe. But there is a gap in that smoke. Oh, is Carrigan getting the info? It looks like it. I'm sure he will be telling his team to be ready elsewhere. Nope, says Rops. Gamer Legion's fire has been extinguished towards the end of this half. I'm sure the FaZe clan fans were very worried watching the beginning of this one, but momentum has certainly swung back into their favor. And they've magnetized it. Does not seem to be going anywhere just yet. But that was a pistol round for Gamer Legion. 
Heading into the last round of the half, the AKs will be back again. Very well recovered by FaZe. They are on fire. Five in a row for them. And they make it six in a row to close the half. Gamer Legion getting stumped in these recent rounds. And now it's Brokey's turn to help towards Yard. Twists alongside him. Not anymore, though. Kios puts him down early. Brokey will have to just scurry back to safety. Elsewhere, it's Rain to even up the numbers, though. Oh, Rops doesn't realize they're out door already. Look at how far in Volt is, but he's fouled by Rops. Robotic on that shot. And they're just going to try and send it down to B with the bomb. Rain could get caught on the rotation here. Snacks has got the sound cues catching him. So what is the ultimate play then? Does Acor dare go back up the vents? Brokey is just standing there with eyes towards main. He can quickly snap over. I think he's seen Snacks now, but there's two. This is a big risk. Brokey's not giving it up. 1v3 for Acor. There is no way he escapes this situation. Forty-five seconds. Deliberately made a step on the ladder. Up the stairs he goes. Rops with the off angle. Oh Ooh. wow! All right then, A caught. Another missed grenade. The Molly tells the story. Twenty-six seconds. Where can he really go with this? It's a race either way. Too much to ask. Couple of smokes and a yard play looking likely. FaZe managed to dig deep in that first half and really make a game of it. If Gamer Legion are going to beat them, they're going to have to bring everything to this game of Nuke. Numbers on this B bomb site. Oh. Caught off guard, Gamer Legion. Carrigan saying hello, entertaining. He's got a cocktail sticks at the party, sausages. Gamer Legion aren't hungry. Many on the ramp now. How many can Rain collect? Will one be enough? Four on three then for Gamer Legion as they continue to press on. They've got one flash. They've got to get their skates on. No diffuse kit for them. Moving through. Twist saying hello, Rops. Headshotting at the very least. Drop though. Two on two now as Twist is in the open, running low on bullets. And then it's Brokey versus Isaac. That bomb so far ticked though. There's no way he can secure this round. Maybe a final kill, but Brokey just jumping in the corner, facing the wall like a naughty student. Face secured around. That's a big pistol to take. Yeah, they are on a tear right now. Ended the first half with six in a row. They carry that streak into the second half as well. And that also means these two teams split the pistols. That be that be bomb site being for free. It, it just allows so much for FaZe here in the post plant. No kit for Gamer Legion either. Even though Carrigan missed his opportunity on some unsuspecting players. See the momentum rising for FaZe right now. Full save is the call for Gamer Legion. We have seen these rounds do damage before, though. Gotta stay focused. FaZe really want their spot in the playoffs. You can see how much it means to them on their faces when they win these rounds. On their faces when they lose these rounds as well. Jubilation or frustration. They've worked hard to turn this score around. It was looking dire at points in that first half. And suddenly they have full control. Yeah, it's also a scenario where FaZe, towards the end of CSGO, they're a squad with high expectations and they weren't making deep runs consistently enough. People were saying maybe they'll get motivated again once it reaches CS2, but they've got to prove that. And Brokey making money. That's an ace for Brokey. Extra cash for the Orpa. Cannot complain about that. Very nice. Very nice, very clean. Nine to five, four phase, cusp of double figures.
Big guns are coming out for Gamer Legion. They need to focus up. Really farmed with that SMG as well. That's the worst person for them to have secure an ace on many measures. Oh, fast ramp. Kiel's got a good angle though through the smoke as well. Avoids the flash, but he might be in trouble now as Rain encroaches on his position. They just keep on coming as well. <laughs> Tower of head. humanity. Great lineup for Snacks though. Still with something to say. Four on two. Rops on the ropes with 44 HP. Much work to be done. Smoke up, bomb plant. How much more is doable? Another smoke plop down, trying to buy time. But Gamer Legion will slowly, but surely, wrap them in. Brokey tries to make the aggro play, but that's a missed opportunity. He finally hits the headshot and Rops with one from the site. He's got the lineup! Rops puts them both down and FaZe come through. They cannot lose a round right now. Wow. And the semi-auto with the pistol grip. That knife and specs might be the highlight of the remainder of this game for Gamer Legion. What a disaster. Rain doing rain things on Yard. Yard's not going to get that one. Phase are dialed in. These kills are rapid. Dialed in versus checked out, I think. Okay. Unless. That's the bomb. bomb. That's the bomb. No, no, no. And an AK. It's still not that comfortable for Gamer Legion, I feel. There's just a lot of angles you've got to be concerned about, but Isaac's on the flank as well. Oh, baby. Oh, he saw the back of the foot. But Rain has oh. spotted him as well. Oh, boy. Phase on the They've got a death grip on this game now. They knew they had an uphill struggle before that retake attempt on B, Gamer Legion. Eleven five, two away from the quarterfinals. Our face, fist bumps all round there from Coach Ash because he knows Gamer Legion have to get their heads back in the game right now. Acor has the orb, full rifles, no excuses. It has to be now. Oh, hello, Carrigan. Makes his way into the A bomb site, drops fault. More work to be done. He's having a look on the outside now. Okay. Oh, Whoa. Carrigan! He is forcing playoffs with a performance like this. Going for the taps now. But Gamer Legion are fighting back. Three on three. Acor in the most awkward position. Twist dropping. A Brokey was still that one, actually. And Acor on that rotation gets decapitated. Isaac now will be toyed with. They know where he is. They can do whatever they want. The dream is collapsing for Gamer Legion. It's been a great effort from them, but is anything left? <laughs> Carrigan getting a little scared there. But it is match point. It's playoff point, series point for FaZe Clan. This is a ridiculous streak. It's 11 in a row for FaZe. You don't even need me to tell you that. You can just see it on Kios' face. A complete collapse from Gamer Legion. But more than anything, a complete domination from FaZe. The pace of their play, the shots that they are landing, they look unstoppable right now. From a burning star to an imploding star, Gamer Legion are on the ropes. FaZe, true to their reputation, digging deep. A fountain of talent that Gamer Legion are drowning in. Big action towards the ramp. Just a distraction, Carrigan, on the site. Kios has done some damage, but will it be enough? Snacks is rolling with a scout in this round. They lose position towards the lower area. Robson Brokey moving through, looking for a bomb plant as the CT starts to creep. 
Point of no return now for Game Allegiant. They have to go for this. They've got no kit. And they are ill-equipped versus these AKs. It's been a great fight to get this far for Game Allegiant. But FaZe look unstoppable now in this game of nuke. Playoffs on the line. Barrel of the gun seen. Acor and Vault remain then. Versus Rops. No kit. They've got to find this frag. He needs to delay them as best he can. Pulling the grenades out, trying to survive. Is there time for this? Or is it death in the most brutal fashion? It's close, but it's not going to be. Oh, it is! Just about. Wow. 0 0.06 seconds is what it said in game. Incredibly close. But they just about found that bomb in time. Rops desperately trying to deny the defuse. But, but that is what it takes for Game Allegiant to break the 11 round streak. Look at the nervous body language afterwards, oh. though. Oh, man, I was denied by. I thought that red was going first. Oh, no one can believe it. They are still alive. They are still fighting. There is still oh, a awesome. pulse. But there is only half the score of FaZe Clan who charge into the bomb site. Carrigan looks to make the space, but Vault has a three-man spray down. The garden hose is out. Will it be enough though? Down to a two-on-two now. Make it one. Rops in the clutch. He's got half the information. Acor in heaven. Now in hell. Kios though, perfectly positioned with the meat shot. This shotgun surely denied by...